So just to introduce why this class was written is truly because of the auditing and monitoring that we do our, for our company. Um, we truly find that there are deficiencies in this area for monitoring as well as we've seen it identified in, um, you know, from the FDA and from regulatory inspection. So it is an important thing. It's monumental what the CRA does. So the source document verification of adverse events is, again, impacting. But I wonder if most CRAs realize that inaccurate or incorrect, inadequate monitoring of adverse events can le lead to incorrect labeling of the product and impact the marketing application. So it can actually impact the application when it's been re being reviewed by the agency or after that because of the lack of reporting or accurate reporting, what we really expect from our products that they're going to have um, re regarding safety, we don't have ever all the information we need. And so it, we want to make sure that we're monitoring these and getting, making sure sites are reporting them correctly. And inadequate monitoring of source documents and many of the examples from the agency is regarding um, adverse event reporting is one of the top three or four sponsor inspection deficiencies for sponsor monitoring. And then for the investigators, the inadequate collection and evaluation of adverse events is also their third or fourth most common GCP inspection deficiency. And what you'll see in 2009 and 2010, there's been a couple warning letters that have cited that inadequate monitoring has contributed to the deficiencies of a research site. So that's a strong statement coming from the agency within their deficiency letters. 